Good day grade 7 students. This video is all about the electronic search engines and general references. Our learning targets for the day are I can identify the different electronic search engines and general references and use them to gather information. Decades ago, Students had to spend hours in the library just to get the book that would give them the right and complete information to answer their homework. Today, researching is just a click away. And there are a lot of resources that can help you find the answers to your questions with less time and effort exerted using the internet. Search engines are the best to use when searching for very specific information or when you would like to know different perspectives about a certain topic. They are also easy to access because researchers do not have to wait for people to create directories. It is also easy to search for the most recent information. The most used search engines are Google, Bing, EchoAsia, Safari, Yahoo, and Ask.com. Search engines are programs involving large databases using intelligent operators called spiders or robots that collect new documents on the web and arrange them into a database. When one requests for information, they search the full text of the document. On the other hand, search directories are collections of websites organized by categories to allow users to easily browse information. This is organized by real people who have browsed the website already. The best known directories are Excise, Galaxy, Web Crawler, and Lycos. Meta search tools use several major search engines and directories to search information. When you request for information, they collect the most relevant sites and show the different search engines accessible. One has access to numerous engines, however, one may not be able to maximize the use of one search engine. Thus, they are advisable to use for doing simple searches. Some of the most popular meta search tools are All-in-One Search Page, Info.com, Search.com, and Simbalu. This is a quick tip. When searching for information through search engines, enter a single term to determine how many items you can get. If there are not enough sources available, use either a different or a broader term. However, if there are too many items, here are some strategies you can use. 1. Use phrases rather than single words. 2. Use unique or less common words. 3. Narrow the term by using Boolean operators and other search-limiting techniques. For example, if you use AND, it finds pages that include both of the terms you are searching. Or it finds pages that include either of the words or both. Not, it finds pages that include the first word but not the second. Example, engines, not car. The most commonly used search engine is Google. Here is the anatomy of Google search to help you navigate it properly. First, website title. Also known as a site title, it appears across the top of every page of a site. This might be the name of a company or organization, or a brief description of the organization, or a combination of the two. Second, URL refers to the address of a worldwide web page. Third, description or tagline serves as an introduction to the content of the website. Fourth, Site links are hyperlinks to website subpages that appear under certain Google listing in order to help users navigate the site. Google adds them through its own secret automated algorithms. And last is 
Additional listing refers to the options to further enhance listing. In this age of information, this information is also rampant. Therefore, we must know how to evaluate websites for verification of the information that we are gathering. Number 1. Open the site. Number 2. Scheme through the site, then answer the following questions. Can I read, understand the text? Might the site be useful? Does it answer my question? Is this a credible author site? Does the information met my needs? Is the site designed to educate, persuade, or sell? Is the information current enough? Third, if the answers are no, try a different website or author your search terms. Now, I have a question for you. Aside from search engines or websites, what else can you use to gather information? Search engines and websites are called non-print sources because you cannot hold them in a paper physically. Aside from this, you may also get information through print materials or what we call as general references. General references are sources that can help you begin with your research task. They can help you get background information on your topic whether it's about people, events, places, and other topics. They also contain definitions and ideas for keywords which will help you find more sources on your topic. However, they should not be used solely when doing research papers as they only contain broad and limited information and may not treat a topic completely and deeply. The following are the types of references and their uses. First type of general reference is almanac. Almanacs are annually published to give interesting facts and statistics about various fields like sports, entertainment, politics, and many others. This print reference is now also published online. We can browse the old farmer's almanac online which include topics of tide tables, sunrise times, weather forecasts, and etc. Another online almanac is Fact Monster, which is the best reference site for children. Lastly, InfoPlease Almanac is a comprehensive collective statistics on arts, business, sports, and more. These online versions are a big help to us, especially during this time of pandemic, since we are not allowed to go outside and to go to a library to borrow printed sources just to get the information that we want. But now, the internet have this, so we can still look for the information that we need in just one click. Second type of general references is Atlas. It provides geographical information such as physical, political, road, and thematic maps of countries and other information about them. We can also use online atlas such as Google Maps that was launched in the year 2005, NASA World Wind in 2003, and Wikimapia in 2006. Third type of reference is the dictionary. It contains definitions, synonyms, etymology, and pronunciation of words. An online dictionary is also available for our use such as Merriam-Webster which is made up of a typical dictionary, a thesaurus, a Spanish to English translation, and a medical dictionary. Cambridge Dictionary is a big website that you might want to explore if you're looking for one of the more serious online dictionaries. Dictionary.com offers definition, pronunciations, word origins, and word history, and a lot more. Fourth type of general reference is Encyclopedia. It gives an overview or a summary of a topic. It can be used for short but credible background information, for short biographies, 
hard facts, statistics, and many other types of information. There are online encyclopedias available in the net such as Britannica featuring 100,000 scholarly articles highly respected. Credo provides access to encyclopedia entries on thousands of topics. And Europeana, which allows you to discover inspiring cultural heritage from European museums, galleries, libraries, and archives. Fifth type of reference is bibliographies. It contains one or more lists of resources and materials sharing some common information about them such as location, publishing date, subject, and others. Bibme is one of the most functional free online bibliography and citation tools on the internet. Citation Machine is one of the easiest to use free online bibliography and citation tools. And Citabi. It is a multi-purpose free online bibliography and citation tool. E-learning content developers can use for their knowledge organization needs. It is also a reference manager and a task management platform. Sixth type of reference is Handbook. It provides handy facts on a specific field or subject or instructions for operating a machine. A lot of online handbooks are available on the net depending on the specific one you need. Seventh type of reference is Index. It is a list of literature that helps researchers locate information in other sources like periodicals, anthologies, newspapers, and others. Last type of reference is yearbook. It is an annual documentary, historical, or memorial collection of facts, photographs, statistics, and many others about the events of the previous year. Since the internet is available online, some schools uploaded their yearbook online as soft copies. Those are the general sources you can use when searching for information. That's it for this video. I hope that you can identify the different electronic search engines and general references and use them to gather information. Thanks for watching!